hi guys so in this video we're gonna learn our second hook that is use effect and previously we have learned our first that is the use state that lets you hook to the react state now for uh, exploring this use effect i'm going to create a timer in here and it's not a fancy timer just uh, a number that is being increased by one so if you want to do anything else you can just create a, your own formatter and just uh, give the yeah give the value and it will format like this so i'm not going to build it so i'm just going to count it plus one so yeah so i'm just going to just create the first of all ui so i'm just going to use it here I'm going to give timer here and just closing it now just exporting this file so I'm just going to export it export default timer now using in here our app.js I'm going to use timer in here so yeah that's it that's what we need we got this timer now uh, what this use effect is so in our class component we have lifecycle methods right such as like the one that we have used for data fetching okay so basically the one which we are going to use whenever the page renders so yeah after the page renders what are the lifecycle methods that we're going to use that is component did mount component will update or component will unmount so combining these three all lifecycle method comes under or combining all these three will do the same trick that the use effect will do okay so we're gonna see these three lifecycle methods into one use effect into action in here not in this video but we're gonna see in uh, next one we do more maybe uh, so let's begin with our use effect so basically what this is that use effect will be called after this component will be mounted on this page so basically the component did mount right so what but this is also occur when component will update okay whenever the some props will change then this use effect will also work so how can we restrict the action of use effect we will see in the later video so first of all uh, one thing that is use effect will run anytime each time or every time whenever this effect or uh, whenever any props will change okay so in here what it needs it need a an anim uh, it need a effect yeah it need a function callback function so you can define a function in here i'm going to give a, an arrow for function such that i'm going to define in here as a, as well so what we need we need a set timeout right so inside this set timeout uh, if you don't know what this function does uh, just uh, google it and you can see what it is so what does it does like uh, after in here in the second argument i'm just gonna give 1000 that is that this is a second right sorry this is millisecond so 1000 millisecond is one second so it will run this function anything that you're gonna write in here in this function after one second so yeah so i'm just going to create a new state okay so inside this state i'm going to use to update the value of this set second right so this means that whenever you update this set second this use effect will run again right that's what i have said that it will run for both component date mode and component will update now i'm just going to use use a state here just giving the value uh, the initial value that is zero now in here i'm just going to wrap this up in curly braces so that i'm going to use a string interpolation in here 
and giving the second value as i have said you can use the formatter if you want okay so it's done i don't know why it's it is not saying i'm just going to refresh it so it will be shown in here yeah. we got this ui now what we can do next is i'm going to update the value right so set second second plus one okay yeah that's it that's what we need okay so is there yeah so as you can see in here that it will be updated each time because two things happening here whenever the first page whenever the first time there is page mounted component did mount will happen so the same thing use effect will happen and now again if it is changing the value of second is changing so this timer will again re-render so again this uh, this will use effect will run after render and this is component will update so now this is not what we want right uh, we want to stop it we want to start it that we have a functionality in our hand right so for that purpose i'm going to create a new state that is is start so that it has a value of true or false that we're gonna need in here and again we're gonna use use state and the first value okay the initial value is false so in here we need a button right so inside this button I'm gonna give the text also by just using the ternary operator if else type of thing so text button you can give in here so if it is not started okay if it is not started so the text will be start or if it is started so we need to stop it right so i'm just gonna give it here uh, give in here the text button also mm, yeah text button now i'm going to give in here text button and also the horizontal line in here okay so we got this but we haven't used like uh, it doesn't do anything right so just giving the value in here on click and changing the value whenever you click on it but this thing is not uh, like uh, hook or attached with this use effect right so let's see what will what we have to do next so set start to be is start okay like it will toggle the value and you can see in here start stop okay it's not changing right oh sorry set start yeah now if we can see in here uh, something is changing okay just refresh it again okay now let's see yeah it's working fine yeah so now we have to see how can we use this is start in here so as i have said in the previous video that there are restriction of using hooks right we can only use hooks inside a functional component at the top level okay so we cannot use a hook inside a function like uh, uh rather than uh, rather than the uh, component okay or uh, we can use inside the if else block so what we can do that we can give the if else inside here okay so if it is started at that time we're gonna run this code okay so as i'm going to give in here and refresh back in here it is not started it is false so it is it is not started if i just again start so it is running in here and if i just click on this stop it will be stopped and again we start 
it will be started and yeah that's all so this is how we can use this use effect so uh, we haven't talked about uh, the things like uh, uh, data fetching we will see in the next video uh, yeah so there is more to it uh, let's say in the next video that's all thanks